Hi, my name is Rob from SkidsteerSolutions.com. I'm here to introduce you to our E70 backhoe. This is one of the series of backhoes that we've been manufacturing since 1998. Uh, this model in particular features two cylinders. One controls the bucket sweep, one controls the thumb. We actually created this in 2005 uh, after Hurricane Katrina for doing hurricane cleanup. Our customers needed to be able to get inside buildings and manipulate the thumb and the bucket, pick up things like furniture and whatever. One of the key features of our, all of our backhoe series is this coupler. It's an ECS coupler we developed about five years ago. Uh, what this enables you to do is quick couple on using a wedge block. You can quick couple any of our buckets, our easy boom, um, and other attachments that you want to actually run off the front of the machine. Uh, what you're looking at right here is a standard E70, but we also have an extreme series which has front mounted hydraulic couplers so you can actually run powered attachments off the front of the backhoe. Installing a bucket is simple using our ECS coupler system. All I'm going to do is hook the bucket over the bottom ears. I'm going to roll it into place, lift the wedge block up, let it slide down into place and tighten it down. So I've dropped the bucket over the lower ears. I'm going to do is hold my wedge block up, push the bucket down, let the wedge fall into place, and I'm just going to tighten up my bolts now. And after each use, you just always want to just double check and make sure that the bolts are tight because when the buckets are new, you've got a little bit of powder coat paint on there that could make it uh, sink down and loosen up on you. Now I've got our bucket on, I just want to point out some more key features on this E70 backhoe. Uh, first of all is that ECS coupler, you saw how easy it was to put the bucket on. Second of all is our custom cylinder. This is manufactured explicitly for this application and what it does is it has a safety relief valve in here. So if you pull too hard on something like you're jamming on a stump or something and you're pulling, uh, what it'll do is it'll actually relieve pressure back through the lines and that just makes it safer for everything. Saves the pins on your machine, saves the buckets, saves the cylinder. It's just a very, very safe thing to have. Our solenoid control valve, this is a standard valve that we use in all of our applications that require two functions. Uh, we developed this with another manufacturer approximately eight or nine years ago and we use this in everything. Um, what's really nice about this is we give you a wiring harness. When you order it, you get a generic wiring harness that goes with it, but also we make a plug and play adapter for this. So I've got this plugged into my 14 pin on my Bobcat here and so now I can use my stick controls. I use my right control on my stick to control the sweep of the bucket. I use the left control to control the sweep of the thumb. Installing the E70 series backhoe is as simple as putting a bucket on and I'll just demonstrate that now. I'm just going to get in the machine now and I'm going to run it for you so you can see the full sweep of the bucket and the thumb. Look for the E70 or other backhoes in this series on our website, skidsteersolutions.com. We hope you'll visit us often.